Well, hi guys and gals, this is George Adventure here. Uh, I am down here in my leather shop, uh, www.etsy.com slash shop slash EDC Leather Works. EDC stands for Everyday Carry. And I make a lot of different things. Uh, I make, I made this yesterday, I made this leather uh, sheath. It's a slip joint sheath. It's for a trapper size knife, which is a slip joint. Uh, and it, it, it's eight ounce leather. This is an eight ounce leather sheath. Uh, trapper fits in there perfect, but you can carry any size knife that's close to this. This knife is like four and a quarter inches long. And through here, it's an inch wide, but it'll, it'll fit it'll fit in these sheaths, you know. So a trapper or a trapper size knife, knife like a, maybe like a large, a big copper head, uh, anything like that. Uh, the uh, travel lock or whatever will fit down in this sheath right here. And I'll put a letter, a letter on the back. I'll stamp a little letter and there's a T and that stands for trapper. Uh, but there's my maker's mark. But this, like I said, this is eight ounce leather. This thing will last forever. And I, I glue it. I glue this here. I stitch it. And I put a brad. And it's not going anywhere. I mean, you're not going to hurt it. I also glue glue the seams right here. And then I, then I stitch it. It's got a uh, lanyard eyelet right here. If you want to put a lanyard in there, that's up to you. So I came down here this morning. And I wanted to make... Uh, well, I actually started making a notebook. I make a lot of these notebooks. These are pocket notebooks. And I've got this one gluing. Uh, I'll trim it up, but it's gluing. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll finish it. I've got, you know, I have to trim it up and burnish it, stamp it if I want stamping on it. Uh, then, then I'll punch the holes and I'll dye it and sand it. I mean, dye it and sew it. So I've got that going on, but... So I've been making uh, some uh, sod buster sheaths. This is a sod buster. Uh, the trapper is my second favorite case knife to carry. Uh, and they call it a trapper for a reason. It, it came out, I think, in the 20s or 30s. And it's, it was basically to use for cleaning game, you know, trapper, people that trout, or hunters. So, and I've actually cleaned deer cleaned here with this blade right here. And this one, this one's sharp. I actually found this knife. Found it and it's got some weird looking little holes or something, but I found it when I was out, out at work one day and I walked up on it and it was laying in the grass. So, uh, but anyway, let's get back to the Sod Buster. So, Sod Buster Jr. Uh, it's my favorite, actually my favorite carrying knife. I like the blade shape. This blade's good for light skinning or light work, you know, whatever, skinning an apple, cutting, whatever, or not skinning an apple, but cutting an apple up, or, you know, just any kind of chore you have to, to do. Uh, so I, I thought there might be a need. I know they're, they're popular, so uh, I made this little scabbard sheath for it. Uh, it's a belt, it goes on your belt. Uh, it's not a scout draw, so but it's a, oops, it's a hanging sheath. You just put it through your belt like this. Uh, just rides like this, this is your belt. Just rides like that through your belt. So, uh, but this is, this is actually four ounce leather here. This is a four ounce leather sheath. You can see the size, you know, four ounce is a little thinner. I make, I make these notebooks out of four ounce, but so this this is a completed this is a completed sod buster sheath. I just stamped a deer on it. It's got XX, and then uh, I put this. I don't know if you can tell this little shotgun rivet it says 12 gauge. Uh, I've got a rivet here and a rivet here, and then I've got a I've got an outlet here for a uh, lander. So uh, this one will be going on Etsy pretty soon. So eight ounce, so I'm in the process of making this one. This is, this is, I'm sorry, four ounce. 
this is eight ounce. So this is an eight ounce sodbuster sheath, and when I get done with it, it'll it'll uh, it'll ride right down there like that, and be good to go. Uh, the eight ounce or the four ounce, both are good. Good. This is a little lighter, but it's not going anywhere. It'll last forever, you know. Just put a little leather treatment on it every now and then, but. This is a little more heavy duty, you know, so I got people that like the four ounce. I got people that like the eight ounce. I like both of them, you know, so, uh, and, and you can see the difference here. Uh, let me find, I got a little piece of, so you can see, uh, you can see the difference. This is eight ounce right here. And this is four ounce. So you can see, you can see the difference. Eight ounces thicker, you know, it's more rigid. It's good for sheaths. Uh, I don't make notebooks or, or uh, I don't make my pocket organ. My pocket organizers are made out of four ounce. They're made out of this stuff. But this is vegetable tan and this is vegetable tan. So, uh, you know, vegetable tan is great leather. It's good to stamp with. Uh, it's just a good rugged leather. And one thing you gotta, you gotta keep in mind Here's another piece of eight ounce here. See how wide it is. What you gotta remember about leather is leather will have little blemishes on them. You know, it'll have, I was looking to see if I could find a piece that's got, got some blemishes in it. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes it'll have like some scars or some bug bites or stuff that's healed and cause you know cows walk around they get they get around barbed wire they get stung they get bit by insects cut themselves or whatever on barbed wire so you might have a little scarring but so that makes the leather look unique i mean that's a that's kind of a neat thing but um you know this this one has a few little scars on it you know you can see uh but all in all, it, it's pretty, you know, and, and the more, the more you use it, the more you use this stuff, the more it's going to get, it's going to get, uh, you know, it's going to get, uh, uh, little scars and little places on it. You know, there ain't nothing much you can do about it. Uh, you know, what you can do is you can use, you can use some leather treatment on it, you know, and, uh, some of the liquid, this is, uh, fill brings care you know it's just you just pour it on a rag and rub it and polish it in or you can use this type of stuff and this is my favorite this is good stuff right here and it just puts moisture back in it you know and it'll it'll last longer but your leather as you carry it it's gonna get worn uh you know beat up scarred up scratched up but to me that makes it look better so this is the this is the this is the sodbuster junior sheath i'm making i made this one already today so uh, both of these, both of these, be basically the same size. Just the the difference in the leather. One four ounce and one eight ounce. So both of them will do the job. You can just put this on your belt and carry your knife, and you're good to go. It'll stay in it. Uh, so you know that's that's just a that's just one of the things that I make. Uh, like I said, sodbuster. This is a stainless steel sodbuster. Uh, I've got one that's carbon steel. Uh, I think the, I, I don't know if Case uses 1095 or, or whatever, but this is basically their true sharp. This is, I think, 440 stainless, uh, which I like carbon steel, you know, so I get a case that's carbon steel. I'm, I'm good. This is a stainless steel trapper. It's got an SS on it right here, lightning bolt SS for stainless steel. Uh, so uh, it goes right in here. And uh, so that's what I'm doing today. Uh, making making some sheaths. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this up. It's a little notebook up. And uh, great notebook for everyday carry, an EDC pocket notebook. And it takes the three and a half by four by five and a half notebooks, like a field notes. So that's that's what I'm doing today. And uh, you know, if you like knives, you can check out my Etsy shop, www. 
Etsy.com slash shop slash EDC Leather Works. Y'all have a great day. Have a great weekend. God bless you.